So I've got the, uh, this is Santa from Santa Switch Adaptive Toys. We're going to do another adaption tutorial for you here. We have got the DJ Groovin Go. This is the small plush one. It doesn't do any bouncing around like um, the big DJ Bounce does. But it's got, uh, it's very, it's a plush toy instead of a hard toy. And when it's turned on, we have light, sound, and noise, and uh, lights, okay? So there's lights and sound. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how I will adapt this. So the first thing we need to do is to get that shell, the skin off of him, get into the battery compartment box. And I'm going to set this, uh, this to the side. There we go. That looks good. Okay. And a bunch of screws on the back. I've got a little container to capture those. Uh, let's see. We're still turned on, right? Nope. Turn them off. That's fine. Good. Okay. So pull the five screwed out. So these videos I make are more, uh, they're, they're instructional. There's no glamour. There's no glitz to them. Oop. Okay. And you can skip forward anytime you want. If you uh, want to see my videos as I adapt them and put them on the internet, just subscribe. You'll see them when I post them. Like, if you would, please. That helps me out. Uh, that gives me know that people enjoy them. So... Let's see what to, oh, that's the battery compartment. Yes. Once I've opened up the battery compartment, I have four more screws underneath it. That's what it was. I had opened this up here a couple of days ago and and closed it back up. I didn't want to lose any of the parts. Okay. But we need to get inside the case. And uh, when you open up a toy and you're trying to figure out, well, where's the switch? What, what activates it? Where am I going to put my cable to? The obvious thing is to find where this goes. What's this doing? And in this case, there's a button. So this shelf benefit we have, it can be set to the side while we look at this. Our switch is behind this screen. It's clear, opaque. And that is just set in. Oh, wait. Okay, here it was. Uh, there's a couple of little clips in the corners. Let's make sure we're turned off so we don't short anything out. We'll get a uh, small flat screwdriver. There's a little clip on this side and opposite side that kind of holds that in place. Once that's off, there's two springs that will jump out at you, and you could possibly lose. We need those. So, on this toy, it's activated by, let's turn it back on, it's activated by this button or this button at the top. Now, these are printed circuits. I turned it off. I did. Okay. These are printed circuits. And I have found those to be extremely difficult to activate or to solder. I have a one of my tutorials, I do solder that. But what I found on this toy, again, using a jumper cable, everyone has one, right? If you're working on toys. Using a jumper cable and looking at this very carefully, I see, let me see if you can see this too. Here is the letters GND, the ground. And out of the side of this switch, without taking it off, the silicone pads, it's difficult to put it back on, so we're not going to take it off. But we can see on the tracing that this broad, wide green line, which I've now scratched a hole into, is potentially one side of this switch. And that goes back down here. It goes up to this switch. And then it goes, if we follow it, it goes into the circuitry. I like that. That tells me that is one side of it. 
the other side is going to be ground. So we turn it on. We're going to use our test wire. And I'm going to see if I can do this close to the camera. Don't know. Uh, let's try another test wire. I want to try something small enough that it might fit into that hole, the ground hole. Okay. So that stabilizes that side of it. And my fingers are probably going to be in the way. But this is where I scratched. Okay. And those are the two points that we're going to solder to. Where I've got the wire setting in here and where I scratched. Okay. And if you're familiar with soldering and the like, and all you wanted to know is to where to solder on here, then you're done. You can quit watching the video and go adapt it. But I'm also now going to put this together. This button is located, see the battery box is here. This button, nope, battery box is here. <laughs> button is here, battery box up there. I want to have good access to this area. I'm going to drill my hole out right about here. I need to change drill bits. Okay, so this looks like a pretty large hole I'm going to drill, but bear with me. I'll explain what I've got here in a moment. All right, clear my hands. We've got it going. Okay, we've got the debris out of there. So this is a strain relief. This is a standard, well, okay, for, for me it's standard. Um, I use mono cables. They've only got two wires out of it. Right now these are marked with a red and a black. Uh, the, oh, two wires is all you need for adapting toys because all you're trying to do is close that switch here that we just demonstrated. So... But, it, and traditionally, I will put this through the hole that I drilled, which, as you can see here, is quite large. And I'll just slop in there. Uh, I will tie a knot as a strain release so that that never comes out. That's my preferred. Some people use... Um, Zip ties, I, I don't like zip ties. And I need to tie that knot in such a fashion that it closes down and goes into here on the corner. Uh, it goes, you know, hides in that section. I wonder. I might have put that in the wrong spot in retrospect. There's not a lot of room for my knot and everything in there, but there is more room right up in here. And I think that might be the better spot. So I'm going to redrill the hole. My mistake, your uh, benefit that you don't, you're not going to make the same mistake. All right. Let's take that cable out of there. Run it through the new hole that I made. These are a, a one-off for me. I, I I don't offer these in my sh shop on Etsy or eBay, but uh, because I do toys on request, get lots of requests for can I adapt something, I, I will be more than happy to do so and make a tutorial. Just put your request in, see if, see if I have the opportunity to do that. Okay, so that's got more space down there. Now, I have to keep in mind the button. When this goes on here, it is going to cover those two spots and hit the pad. It's going to line up here and there and hit those pads. So there's lots of room on the face of this to put my wire across Wiring the cabling across here is not going to be in the way. That's 
very good. All right. But we don't need a whole lot of wire in there either. So let's tighten this up. I'm going to tighten that back here. I want just a little bit more. So I don't stress the cable inside there. Okay. And we are now, I'm ready to solder. To do this, because I'm soldering on the circuit board, I am going to add a little bit of solder to both of those points before I bring my cable over. So we're going to heat that point up. This is where I want to put one of them. Clean off my soldering iron to touch there. This is where I want to put one of them. And this contact point is where I want to put the other one. Okay, so I've got some solder on it. Let's put it in place. One. And two. All right, so did it work? Let's turn the toy on. Off camera, I keep switches. I, I have mounted to the side of my table here. Um, and let's press the, uh, the button. Oop. Battery slipped. Okay. What did I do wrong? Let's see, did I do something to the... That was there. That's there. I've got this hooked up. Oh, battery again. <laughs> okay, so because the battery is off of it, the battery bounced down. That's all it was. Okay. So to my off camera switch, every time you punch it on this toy, it changes programming, it interrupts it and changes it. So that's done. This toy is adapted. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off. Now, here's where the strain relief comes in. I'm going to bring this knot as close as I can to this, and then I'm just going to push this up. And huh, you know what? I drilled the wrong hole. I did. <laughs> I picked up the wrong drill bit and drilled the wrong size hole. Okay. Well, what to do with that? You take this apart again. Undo the knot. Pardon? Get the uh, cable out. Get the right size drill bit, quarter inch drill bit. For some reason, I had a small one or a smaller one than what was necessary. And let's drill out. Which hole are we using? This one. All right. And we reassemble it. But we know where it goes. I will put a link down in the uh, description as to where I picked up those strain reliefs if you want to use them. The strain reliefs work perfectly well for cables that have only two wires in them, mono cables. They might be a little snug for those people who are using stereo cables. All right, let's get these wired back together, soldered up. And we are this one. And we are this one. Let's double check my Turn the power back on. 
make sure that the batteries are seated. And we will now punch the on off screen. Okay, so good, we're fixed up. Okay. So I'm gonna put that knot down close to the base, to the case there, put this, and it will go difficult, but that's the, the way you want it. It will slip into that hole. And now you have a really nice professional strain relief so that this doesn't get torqued and cut on the outside of it and reassemble this part here, those two little springs, one of them which is slid underneath my cabinet. Oh, apparently they're magnetic and they're, they got magnetized. The spring was here, here, this was here, here. Yes. Yes. Okay. And that will, it, uh, when we took it apart, there was this little tooth like thing or clip that grabbed it on that side and one underneath on, oops, oh, didn't line up, and one underneath on the other side. So it clips onto the uh, printed circuit board and back together. And Turn the power back on. Make sure that the factory switch works. It does. Okay. The, you see the light is kind of in the, one of my cables is in the way of that light. Um, let's see if I can't pull that out of there. Get it out of the line of vision. That looks good, okay. Put it back together, put it back into the toy, and ready to go. So there it is. That is the little DJ. The DJ Groove and Go adaptive toy. All right. So thank you very much again. If you if you like my videos, and uh, share them, uh, put a like button down there. Hit the subscribe. You'll notify when I do new ones. And I look forward to being of service to you in the future. This is Santa Jerry for Santa Switch Adaptive Toys. Have a wonderful day.